hello guys i hope you have been well and here we come to an end to this series and i really enjoyed making this series and today i'm going to share some of my home remedies and affordable products with you so let's start so first thing is a cleanser i'm using this blueberry cleanser from innisfree and i'll be talking about this in my innisfree video so stay tuned but make sure to use a good gentle cleanser use any cleanser that you like and gently massage it for like about a minute or so and then wash your face and yes this cleanser is really good it cleans my face really well next step is masking i'm using this nature's tatwa liquorice powder and i only use this whenever i feel like i need this for my skin when i have some kind of pigmentation on my skin or my skin is looking very very dull so this just brightens up my skin really well and liquorice is an anti-inflammatory ingredient it reduces hyperpigmentation and this is also very hydrating and it calms down the skin so if you've never tried liquorice powder definitely check this out if hyperpigmentation or pigmentation or sunburn if you have these kind of issues because this is really really helpful to you know deal with your pigmentation thing and i really like this and you can also use this as spot treatment like only on the places that you want or you can use this as a good face mask i really like this i use this with normal water like uh, filtered water and you can use this with curd or milk and whatever you feel like like rose water or aloe vera gel so you can make a good face mask for you and this works really well and talking about this particular liquorice powder it has a little weird smell i mean let me know if you have used this or is it my product only but this has some really weird smell into it but it works so it's okay so i leave it for five minutes and then i wash it off the next step is steaming i do this twice a week for two minutes and this is really helpful if you have zits or white um, heads on your skin and blackheads it releases all the dirt from your skin acne causing bacteria it makes the skin really smooth so i really like it and i also really like to use a good aloe vera gel mask so i use this in its free uh, aloe vera gel and i keep this in my fridge for about five to six hours and just apply a thick layer on my skin and then you know massage it in my skin so that my skin can take all the goodness from it it helps to calm down the skin it reduces acne and sunburn or any kind of scarring that you have and it is very very healing like i mean i don't need to talk about aloe vera and it is one of the most beautiful ingredients out there is so soothing calming and hydrating and i really like this so i take my time massage it in my skin for about five minutes and then i just wipe off all the excess aloe vera gel so it's not very thick for my skin and since i have to moisturize after it and yes i my skin feels really really soft supple and hydrated and i really like this so definitely use aloe vera gel next step is a good moisturizer so always go for a hydrating moisturizer i'm using this aveeno moisturizer it is really good it has colloidal oatmeal which protects the skin and it just relieves the dry each skin and since we have done masking so i like to use a good hydrating moisturizer and this is so good and also this is a non-comedogenic formula and this is fragrance free so definitely you can use this and last step is an oil for me you can skip this if you want but since i have dry skin so i really need a uh, good facial oil for my skin and i really like to just take my time and let it sink in my skin and then use a good lip balm and i feel like this entire routine is very hydrating soothing calming so definitely try and this is it for today's video i hope you find this to be helpful and let me know if you have used any of these products or methods in the comments and i will see you very soon with another video bye